So I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and he casually brought up greyhound racing and he brought up that he heard that when a greyhound catches the rabbit or the lure that's going out ahead of all the greyhounds in a race that they retire that greyhound, that that greyhound has lost the desire to chase the goal. And this got me really thinking and, and I started to research it a bit and I found out that this isn't entirely true because in, in training, greyhounds catch the rabbit uh, frequently. Um, the trainers have them catch the rabbit and in races, because of how precise that machinery is, the, the greyhound never really catches the rabbit and the rabbit actually disappears at the end of the race so they never have the opportunity to, to, to catch it. But in this research, I've done a lot of thinking about what this can mean for a human athlete and goal setting and goal achievement. First off, you know, this greyhound, the trainer allows the greyhound to catch the rabbit frequently in training. And this is something that we do often as coaches is we, we need to put workouts out there that the athlete can achieve. It's important as athletes that we actually taste the goal, take, achieve those, those smaller goals in pursuit of the bigger goal uh, that is our peak race down, down the road. The, the second thing that I wanna share that I've been thinking about is that it's really important that as you approach a main goal, that you go ahead and think about what goal is next. You know, we see the biggest dropout um, from endurance sports immediately after a athlete achieves a really big goal, especially if it was a lifetime goal. And so you'll have athletes that maybe achieved um, a, a, a distance that they've never done before. Maybe they completed the, an Ironman or they completed a marathon. And once they achieve that, it's like, well, what's next? I've done it. This is what I've worked for all these years. And then they, they find no will to really continue and so they drop out. And so it's really important that you go ahead and think about what's next. And then the third thing that I've really been thinking hard about when I first heard that when they catch this, this fake lure and they think it's a real animal and they think it's going to be so filling that they've, they've reached after, they, they, they catch it and they, they, they're, they, they don't have a will. And at the risk of actually putting myself out of a job here, I feel like it's my personal responsibility to always share that the sport, it's important and it teaches us very important things that we can carry over into the rest of our life. But we as athletes oftentimes will put a goal on a really high shelf that it doesn't belong. And when we actually achieve that goal, we hear from athletes sometimes and you hear from professional athletes often that you don't really feel fulfilled. With that, I hope that my random thinking around greyhound racing will really help you frame up a more healthy and a healthy perspective with regards to goal setting and goal achievement that will allow you to have a more meaningful life within the sport.